oftentimes on a lot of these exchanges, as you know, and I'm not just talking about crypto, I'm talking about any exchange, a lot of exchanges, um, your shares, if you will, get lent to others. I'm not saying it should be lent to Sam Bankman-Fried's personal um, you know, hedge fund, but how do you think about that piece of it? Listen, I think coins should be segregated in your account and they shouldn't be lent unless you get permission to lend, right? Listen, there were there were businesses like BlockFi or Celsius where in the contract, there was permission for them to take your coins and lend them out. Uh, and so, again, this is about transparency and disclosure uh, in lots of ways. And, you know, our industry has failed to self-regulate. Uh, I think the money side of crypto, companies like ours that buy and sell and lend and do derivatives uh, are going to get regulated and should be. Uh, and then the tech side of crypto, the on-chain stuff, why we all started crypto, that has its own ser series of regulatory challenges, right? KYC, AML, but that kind of should be uh, kept separately. Um, you know, this is always about building trust with your clients. And right now we're in a deficit of trust. People think you know, there's a black swan around every corner that everyone else is, you know, a sociopath and and saying one thing and doing something Mike, else. Isn't this an indictment? To, I mean, is this an indictment of crypto? Because the entire premise of crypto was the idea of creating trust, actually creating a trustless system. Yeah. Listen, that it was so there, trusted, you actually didn't really have to trust anybody. And that and that and that still is the long term goal. Why did why did companies like mine get set up? Right. We are a, a financial company to help bridge people into this new economy. Right. It, it accelerates the capital going in. Right. It, it helps people understand it. And so all the the investment capital that's moved into crypto or lots of it has come from centralized companies. And so centralized companies play an important role in the ecosystem. But just like a centralized financial company, they need to build trust with their clients by being transparent, right. by doing things the right way, by risk managing. And, you know, listen, we had Lehman Brothers, which was regulated below up because they did stupid things. Uh, and so this is not really an indictment of crypto. It's an indictment of FTX and other companies which were poorly run or fraudulently run. Well, Mike, it's Brian. I think we're waiting for an indictment, if you know what I mean. Uh, that said... We saw Kathy Wood step in. She picked up some grayscale Bitcoin trust. Do you feel like investors will or are going to take advantage of any crisis of confidence in this market? And by the way, do we have a crisis of confidence in this market? Yeah, we certainly have a crisis of confidence in this market. And we're not out of the woods yet, right? There's a lot of... Or the Daisy Kathy Woods. <laughs> There's a lot of daisy chain effect going on. Uh, and, you know, people who had exposure to three arrows and then then they had exposure to FTX and, you know, FTX was a major player. And so it's going to take a few weeks for people to just even get their balance back. Uh, Bitcoin's not going away. Right. There are 150 million people that have already decided to store some of their net worth in Bitcoin uh, into this decentralized community that's verified by cryptography. And so in no in no in no world is Bitcoin going away, or quite frankly, the blockchain and Ethereum and everything else. And so this is a buying opportunity in the long run. Is it here? Is it a little lower? Uh, I was just in the Mideast. Uh, in some, in a lot of the cases, they're like, oh, God, glad I didn't get in yet. Uh, but others, they're like, hey, this is my chance. And so I do think you're going to see people like Kathy come in to, to, to inject capital in time. Um, I don't think it's going to be a V recovery by any stretch. It's going to be a grind out of rebuilding trust. Uh, you know, Mike, centralized companies are going to have to do things differently. Would, do you think that people should keep their money, their crypto, in effectively cold storage in a hard wallet? Listen, I think when you keep your money at a place like Coinbase, uh, it most of your money is in a hard wallet. Uh, it is in cold storage. I mean, that's the 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 damning part of, of of having someone who does things, you know, differently than they say they're going to do uh, is, you know, when you put money on exchanges, the bulk of the money isn't isn't, you know, cold storage. And so you don't think you're taking that much credit risk uh, or exchange risk. Uh, I think you're going to see more and more people put their money in very safe and trusted custodians. Right. The big winners in this are going to be people like Fidelity, who've just come out with their crypto product that has built a 130 year uh, you know, 130 year history of trust with their clients.